words must follow you. Because you have received my mother as a prophetess of God, the prophetic words will follow you. Amen. The word of God says, He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a, prof a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. reward. Praise Jesus. Amen. Whatever you do, whatever you do in a prophetic order comes with benefits. Praise Jesus. Amen. Now I'm teaching. Take me back to my scripture. To the second kings. Second Kings, chapter 4. Let's go there. He who receives a prophet, because he is a prophet, in the name of a prophet, must receive a prophetic reward. Praise Jesus. Now we have received a prophetess of God. Because she is a prophetess of God, a prophetic reward must follow us. Can you please give me the scripture? Second Kings Second Kings chapter four Chapter four scripture let's go to scripture number twenty Okay Scripture number fifteen Verse number fifteen So he said, call her. When he had called her and stood in the doorway, uh -huh, then he said, about this time, let's go to scripture number 13. Back to scripture number 13. And he said to him, say now to her, look, you have been concerned for us with all this care. What can I do for you? Do you want me to speak on your behalf to the king or to the commander of the arm? She answered, I dwell among my own people. 14. So he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gaius answered, Actually, he has no son. She has no son. And he, her husband is very old. Praise Jesus. Amen. It's true that you, you dwell among your people. It's true that you have your own business. Jesus. It's true that you have your own family. Amen. But there is a disease in mm. that family. It's true that you are in marriage, but uh -huh. there is no peace in that marriage of yours. Sure. It's true that you have everything, uh -huh. but there is something that you cannot see as a problem, uh -huh. but a prophet of God uh -huh. can see it as a problem Recently. and solve it out. Oh, you may look at yourself uh -huh. and look and say that you are okay, but mm. you are not. Sure. You better listen to a prophet of God. And what does, it, what does that woman say? Uh -huh. The woman of God is say. Mm. And she will work upon it. Exactly. Jesus. That you know what to, that you know my two man said. Uh -huh. May I don't I don't need anything. Mm. May I live among my own people. But you know my two man uh -huh. had no business, has no son. Had no son. Amen. And girl said uh -huh. she had no son. Actually, she has no son. And her husband is old. Let's go to the verse number 15. So he said, Call her. When he had called her, she stood in the doorway. Then he said, about this time next year, about this time next year, you shall embrace your son. And she said, no, my Lord, listen, <coughs> a prophetic word, a prophet, prophet does not come as a willing of men. Prophet is not, prophet, prophecies does not come as a man willings. Praise Jesus. Prophet comes by the will of God. Amen. Prophets is not to a will of a man or a human being. And a prophet is not a psychologist. A prophet goes beyond the understanding of human beings. A prophet. I want you to understand what the prophet is. Because the woman said, the man of God, the prophet Elijah said to him, Next year by this time, you'll have your own son. But she wanted to complain. Why? Because the, her husband was old. Praise Jesus. Prophet goes beyond the human being understandings. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. 
whatever the an altar say to you take it as it is it can never go against precisers god can not go against himself god respects his word and does his words the word of god says next year you shall embrace your son i see you next year you're gonna embrace your son today next year by this time you're gonna embrace your business uh -huh. you're gonna have your career Amen. you're gonna embrace your family you're gonna have each and everything that you want to go to you for you Amen. i prophesy as a son of genuine prophetess as i stand in the beautiful altar of my mother prophetess uh -huh. Esther Bukoko, uh -huh. as i pray to you my god god will be mic i say today uh -huh. let it let him be as i say Amen. because i prophesy uh -huh. prophetic grace of my mother what is yes. upon my head you're gonna have everything i receive i see next year embrace your son i receive in your business i receive i talk about peace oh, yes i talk about peace i receive you're gonna have peace Amen. i talk about business i, I talk about career oh, yes. i talk about things oh, yes. in the spirit Absolutely. god is gonna give you Amen. next year the word of God says, about this time next year, you shall embrace your son. And she said, no, my Lord, man of God, do not lie to us, my maid servant. A prophet of God will never lie to you. Don't take your situation as bigger, more than God that you serve. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. The situation that you are passing through uh -huh. is not as bigger mm. as the God that you serve. That's sure. A Shunamatu woman said to him, uh -huh. Now I'm old, mm. my husband is old, mm. how can I get a son? Mm -hmm. You're going to have it. Even when people say that you will never get it, uh -huh. but when an older said you're going to have it, you'll mm. get it. I receive. Accordingly. Take me. But the woman conceived and bore a son when, when the appointed time had come, of which Elijah had told her. Verse number 18. And the child grew. Now it happened. One day that he went out to his father, to the reapers, Praise Jesus. Shunamite woman had no problem. But the problem was to her husband. Praise Jesus. Amen. Shunamite woman had no problem. The witchcraft in the house was the husband. Praise Jesus. Amen. The witch, an enemy, does not come from far, but comes in your, in your house. The enemy of this woman was not a witchcraft from another tribe or from another country, but the, the, the witch came in her house, the husband. The word of God says, and the man, go back to number 18. Now the child grew. Now it happened. One day he went out to his father to the reapers. There's some who rips you of your peace. There's some people that can rip your business. There are people who rips your marriage. Today you have to pray so that they must leave your marriage because they are reapers. Amen. The husband of a Shunammite woman was a reaper. Jesus. Amen. But as we are going to pray, we shall pray, and we are going to pray right now. And we will tell God that any reaper in my life, any person that rips my peace, that rips my happiness, right, that rips my business today must die. Amen. That is what it says. And he said to his father, My head, my head. So he said to his servant, Carry him to his mother. When he had taken him and brought him to his mother, and sat on her knees till noon. Then he then died. Praise Jesus. Amen. You came to PMIC. Uh -huh. You had no business. Mm -hmm. You get your own business. Uh -huh. And the business died. Mm. When I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. From Genesis to Revelation. Uh -huh. When this man got a prophet. I don't see any scripture. In the Bible that says, and the Shunammite, after getting a after conceiving a baby, she did not go to Elijah. Praise Jesus. Amen. After you get what you want, make sure that you come and worship God. Amen. Shunammite woman 
never went back to a prophet of God. That's why, that's why a miracle died. Teachers. Praise Jesus. Amen. You came here, you had no business. Uh -huh. My mom prayed for you. Uh -huh. And you go to her own business. Mm. And you stayed at home. Uh -huh. And you went back where you came. Mm -hmm. And the business dies. Teachers, son of Mama one. And you said that an altar is very fake. Mm. Fake is you. Praise Jesus. Amen. There are reapers outside there who don't want you, who don't want you to who don't want to see you owning your own things. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. Amen. Just know that they are reapers. Mm. If you come and get what you want, make sure that you keep on worshiping. Amen. Because reapers, they are there. The Lord of God says. And she went up and led to him and led him on the bed of the man of God. Shut the door upon him and went out. The good thing, the only thing, the only hope, only one hope that the Shunammite woman had, had was an upper room, what she created before. Yes. Was a chamber mm -hmm. of Prophet Elijah. Now can you imagine, a prophet of God had already prophesied to you, yes, you have conceived a baby, mm -hmm. but you did not make a room for her. Now a baby is dead. Where are you going? Where are you taking your baby? What? Where are you taking that dead body? Create a room. Create a room Amen. in your house Amen. for a prophetess. Amen. So that when problems come, uh -huh. there will be one hope. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Create a room of faith. Create a room of your tithe. Amen. Create a room of your offering. Mm -hmm. Create a room of supporting this church. Amen. Because when problems come, you get a room where to lie down your problem. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. I'm teaching slow so that you understand me. Just create a room. Praise Jesus. Amen. And when a problem the word of God says, and when, when the boy went to his father and shouted that my father, my head, my head, the father said that take him to his mother. When they took the boy to the mother, the mother not, never complained, never complained, never complained, never complained about anything, even if your miracle is dead. Even if what you get before is dead, never complain. Praise Jesus. A Shunammite woman never complained. That you, man of God, you gave me a son. Huh? Is PMC a real act of God? Is Mama one a real servant of God? Isn't she a Freemason member? Never complain. If you want my miracle back, never complain. Now the Lord says, Then she called to her husband and said, Please send me one of young men and one of the donkeys that I may run to the man of God and come back. Verse number 23. The word of God says, So he said, Why are you going to him today? There are people, witches are witches. Devil is a devil. Sure. Even if you remove a deed, bring a, an evil. Mm -hmm. Praise Jesus. Amen. A witch is a witch. A husband was a witch. A husband never wanted a son, but a Shunammite wanted a son. Now he's telling the wife that why are you going today? To him today is neither the new moon nor the Sabbath. Listen, when you come here, don't listen to people. Don't listen to people. Don't open your ears to everyone. Okay? Amen. Don't open what? Your ears to everyone. Because people talk like to you and will never meet a miracle. Praise Jesus. Amen. And he said, It is well. Mm -hmm. Then she saddled a donkey and said to the servant, Drive and go forward. Do not slacken. The pest for me, unless I tell you, never allow anyone take me to national to NLT. The same scripture, NLT. That's why my that's why my topic is never allow anyone to strike you down, to slack you down. Praise Jesus. If you had decided to come to PMIC, never listen to anyone. So she saddled the donkey. And say to the servant, Her, do not slow me, do not slow down on my account unless I tell you to. Praise Jesus. Amen. Don't allow anybody to slow you down. Amen. Say, Oh Lord, 
in my life in my life never allow anybody anybody to slow to slow on my account in my account to slow to slow on my account on my account i want to go forward i want to go forward i don't want to slack down i don't want to slow down in the name of jesus in the name of jesus sit down the word of god says the same the same version go let's go to number 25 and she approached the man of God at Mount Carmel. Elisha saw in the distance and said to Gigas, Look, the woman from Shunem is coming. Praise Jesus. Amen. My next point is sometimes, sometimes. You may look like you are okay, but you are not. Praise Jesus. You may look what? Uh -huh. That you are okay, mm. but you are not. Sometimes you can get a prophet. Praise Jesus. Amen. And see that prophet as if it's not true. Just because you have given your own confidence to you that you are okay. You better listen what the woman of God is saying to what an altar is saying to you today. Praise Jesus. Let's go to verse number 36. As I'm winding up. Then Elisha summoned girls. Verse number 34. Then he lay down on the chessboard, placing his mouth on the chessboard child's mouth, his eyes on the child's eyes, and his hands on the child's hands, and the child's body began to grow warm again. Praise Jesus. The suffering that you're passing through, an altar bears with you. Praise Jesus. Amen. What you're passing through, an uh -huh. altar bears with you. Amen. Verse. Elisha got up and walked back and forth in the room a few times. Then he stretched himself out again on the child. This time, the body sneezed seven time, times and opened his eyes. I see you are dead. Miracle is going to come up again. Amen. It's going to be risen up again. Amen. It's going to rise up again. Anything that is dead in your life, uh -huh. at the son of Shunamato man was risen up again. Mm -hmm. You are going to rise up again. I, I prophesy unto your life. Prophesy. Anything that seems to be dead uh -huh. shall rise up again in Jesus' name. I receive in Will Jesus rise name. up again in Jesus' name. I receive. Then Elijah summoned girls, mm -hmm. called the child's mother, and said, and when she came in, Elijah said, Here, take your son. Stand up and pray. Praise Jesus. Amen. Perhaps you gave up a long time ago in anything. The prayer that you are going to pray right now, oh God, restore my faith. Praise Jesus. Amen. Oh God, restore, restore my faith that has been lost. Praise Jesus. Amen. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. God of my mother. God of my mother. Restore my faith. Restore my faith. That was lost. That was lost. I want to gain back my miracle. I want to gain back my miracle. I want to regain my miracle. I want to regain my miracle. Pray to the Lord. Father, Father in the name of Jesus. Jesus I as we pray to you, Father God. Miracle. May oh you please Lord, restore our faith. Restore, faith. Our restore faith. Oh my faith that has restore been lost. Faith, oh I want to trust you more. Faith, oh I want to believe you more. Rasha katoria mashana kaza kandau Ripo kosho kotoli masana Aso preto yu falgari my mother Restore my faith I want to believe in you I want to be as a sure my two man In the name of Jesus Amen. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, give me the faith, give me the faith of a Shunammite woman. Over a Shunammite woman. I want to create I want to the upper room the upper of room. this altar in my house. In my house. Give me the faith 
the, Give me the, the faith. faith of creating of or to create the chamber, the chamber of Mama One, of Mama One, the chamber, the chamber of this altar, of this altar. Give me the faith. Give me the faith. Giving, of giving. My tithe, my tithe, my offering, my offering, my tithe, my tithe, my offering, my offering. In Jesus' name. 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 Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. All the sacrifices for English service as we are going to offer God. Viewers all over the world. It's my prayer to, my, to the God of my mom. It's my prayer to this altar that anything that you lost Amen. 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 Karibu, karibu tumtole bwana. Karibu praise. You are amazing God you are. You are amazing God you are. You are amazing God you are. All the glory belongs to you. You are you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are, all oh, the glory, all oh, the glory belongs to you. You are, you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are all the glory, all the glory belongs to you. You are, you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are, you are, you are amazing. God, you are all the glory, all the glory belongs to you. Shangile bwana Yesu kama uko na vigelegele Wangapi umebarikiwa Mungu mama yangu akubariki bwana Yesu asifiwe Mungu akupe imani kama imani ya mwanamke mshunami Ujenge chumba cha juu cha madhabahu kwenye nyumba yako Tatizo linapotokea Mungu akupe mwelekeo na tuta tuzo tatizo lako katika china la Yesu Bwana asifiwe sana Karibu tena katika baada ya Uingereza hapo tumefika mwisho Na pina nukaribisha katika kipindi vina vyondelea vya badeto kuswaili Na munga matabu ya PMOC Akubariki basi ni kuombe usumami chuu Usumami chuu kwa sababu pia Ya uwepo wa mtumishi wa mungu kuhani Na nabi wa bwana Kuingia katika matabu hii Usumama chuu Ini wa mikono yako yote miuli chuu Funga macho yako Tunapukula kumabudu bwana Akikishu na mbudu bwana katika rana kweli Tamani mungu kila mbacho mtumishi Munga mempatia mtumishu waki na bii Kwa jiri ya maisha yako siku ya leo kipuke Tamani majibu wale kuja na ayo Azirudi na ayo na bii Bali ya kikisho meapata Tamani leo kitako cha eshima Leo kipuke Kwa tika kuwabudu kwako Katika na kweli Mungu wa pia maishi Akujibu Funga machu wa kina mkuna kuchu Karibu prezi Tumabudu buwana Hallelujah Ni wakati mgini tena, tunakunda kumuambia buwana Uwepo ni mwako, ni kaye milele, haleluya Uwepo ni mwako, ni 
nikae bwana weponi wako nikae bwana milele nikae weponi wako milele nikae weponi wako weponi wako nikae bwana weponi wako nikae
Yesu. Mungu mwenye adhama. Tunalibariki jina lako Bwana. Asante kwa kibari. Asante kwa nafasi. Asante kwa kuwa Elizabeth anaenda kumpata Yohana wake la. Asante kwa kuwa baba kilichopotea kinaenda kupatikana. Neema ya kutufanya tukawa salama. Nafasi ya kutupa kukua bodo. Asante kwa ajili ya nchi yetu ya Tanzania. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Asante kwa neema na kibara. Baba tunaomba mfano. Mpe kila mmoja nafasi. Mpe neema Bwana. Mpe uweza na nguvu zako. Pokea heshima. Pokea enzi. Nani kama we wa Bwana? Maserafi na makerubi wanakuabudu mfalme Asante Yesu Kusudi la kuniumba Bwana Asante Yesu Ili nikuabudu wewe mfalme Yes Lord Nimekuja nikuabudu Yes mighty Tumekuja tukuabudu Bwana Yes Lord Hatuna agenda nyingine ya siri Mashaka to Mioyo yetu ina hacha na wewe Sima majuu seme na Bwana Mwambie baba nimekuja nikuabudu Nimekuja Bwana tuseme Nitambulishe mbele zako Nimekuja Bwana nikuwa Mwaminifu <laughs>
Jina la Yesu. Kila roza kichamu. Kila sindano za kichamu. Fuasha mikono juu. Asante maminifu. Siku tatu Mungu aliniletea wewe. Sinajua na Mungu akaniletea. Nilikuwa maombi ilikuwa saa 12 jioni. Ukanijia wewe msiana. Ndio mama. Mungu kaniambia. Niko nasikia Ana. 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 Nikasema nini? Nikasikia sauti zinazokuita. Sauti zinakuita kukurudisha nyuma, kukurudisha chini. Umefika tu umekata tamaa. Unapokea simu. Unapokea watu wakikusemesha kukuvunja moyo na kukatisha tamaa. Bro. Mungu ameniambia aliponiletea jana jioni. Hata sikuhitaji kukutabiria kibinadamu. Lakini Mungu akaniambia kwamba sauti hizo ni hatari uzikimbie. Na hivi unavyojiona huko hapa dakika hii ni maombi niliyokuombea jana. Kama si maombi usingeweza kufika hapa. Kurudishieni. Wana wangu Yesu kwa wema yote unayonitendea nikurudishie nene wana wangu Yesu kwa wema yote unayonitendea wewe ni Mungu kwanza ili sifa wewe ni Mungu kwanza ili kuabudiwa mzunguko wa moto na unapata maumivu ambayo yanakunyima furaha ndio nabii lakini kweli kabisa yanakunyima furaha hata kula usikie kula vizuri kwa ni maumivu tu yako ndani yako alafu yakizidi unasikia roho ya hasira unasikia hasira kila yakizidi unasikia hasira lakini nipokuwa nakuona bro nipokuwa nakuona nikiwa nakuja hivi nikaona ni jeneza analetewa mbele Nipokuwa naletoa jeneza mbele nikamuona na mwanamke huyo naye nikaliona jeneza lakini akao anashika kichwa anashika kichwa una siku tatu hichi kichwa kinakuuma sana unasikia moto mkali sana ndani ya siku tatu Bwana kaniambia kwa kuwa mna na nabii na mna hii madhabahu utaishi utaishi kwanza tunaenda kulipomoa hilo jeneza wanaenda kutoka wanaenda kuendelea lazima waingie sema katika jina la Yesu kila roho ya kapuri kila roho ya kapuri ni achiae tu kodi katika jina la Yesu i pray for all of you all of you ever spirit spirit of this ever the power Oh, oh, oh. 
out, 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 kufunga hapa ndio mama naomba nisaidie nimeona malaika wakifungua amen unaona kama kitu kinakaza kwa mkono watu wakiwa naabudu umeona hapa mkono wangu kwako kitu kinakaza ndio mama kinakaza ndio mama mungu akwa anajaribu kukuonyesha hichi ninachokuambia lakini dakika hii naona malaika wanafungua mpaka kwenye mguu wako wa kulia chini watoto wa kaka zangu kuna picha zao professor hivi zitakuwa ziko nyumbani una watoto wangapi nimebakiwa na mtoto mmoja mtoto pale dipa mama wangu usilisha Mungu anakupenda amen macho yako yanaangalia watoto wa kaka yako. Hawa ulio wazika umekaa pembeni. Mungu ameniambia nenda kukupa amani haja kuacha. tazama wanaolia asante Yesu umesema unaenda kuingiza amani kwenye nyumba ya mwanamke huyo yes mighty amekuwa kama mwanamke mjana aliye kwenye lango la nine yes. baba ninakuomba mfahame kama ondolee machungu hai asante Yesu kaya ondo 
ikawepoa Wacha pumzike watoto waliolala kaburi Mlinde huyu aliyesalia Lakini wafanye kuwa baraka kwenye maisha yake Wacha madhabahu ya mamri ikufute machozo lazima Usiogope Mungu ameuponya moyo wako Amina mama Usiogope tena Amen Funga mikono yako kila mmoja Nitakwambia wewe unaikaa kama una homa hapa kanisani Kuna watu wanapitia hali ngumu sana 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 Nipoko naona wasiana wamelala kaburi na mama na wataja watoto wa kaka yake akiwa kwa kameshaacha moyo ndani una maumivu makali Mungu amekupa nafasi muabudu kwa furaha zote Amen Sema asante Yesu Asante Yesu kwa kuna tuona kwa kuona tuona Asante Bwana Asante Bwana Asante 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 Roho Mtakatifu Asante Roho Mtakatifu Asante Mwaminifu Asante Mwaminifu Shukrani Mungu Baba na kwa sababu kabla ibada ya kuisha niletee Mungu anataka kukuponya vidonda vya tumbo Amen Yes Piga makofi kwa Yesu Today is my miracle day Today is my miracle day. Today is my miracle day. Oh. Today. Today is my miracle day. Today. Today is my miracle day. Today. Today is my miracle day. Ninaiondoa roho ya sigara iondoke kwenye maisha yako. Sema ni kweli? Ni kweli. Yaani ndo kweli hivyo? Ni kweli. Hiyo tu ndo dawa yako. Utazama utaibuka. Hiyo kiu itakuondoka kabisa. Utakuwa mtu uhuru. Na hata ukiniona hautakaa mbali na mimi. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nenda uko huru katika jina la Yesu. Ninatabiri katika jina la Yesu. Kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Katika ibada ya leo. Uondoke na machibu. Uondoke na machibu. Wanacheni ziwa wazi. Pokea kiti. Pokea promotion. Pokea kazi. Pokea kipali. Katika jina la Yesu. Wana kupe kufuka. Wana kupe kufuka. Ingia September. Ingia kwa kipali. Jina la Yesu. Ingia September. Ingia na nema. Ingia na kipali. Na kapiri. Na jina la Yesu. Pokea ngufu. Pokea kuingia. Pokea kuingia. Chambere watu wawili Mwambia Nabi anakukaribisha kwenye ibada ya leo 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 Hallelujah Ni wakati mgine tena tunayenda kumsifu vana Mwambia jirani yako kamkawa sifa Hallelujah Amen. Eh, Yahweh, 
Amen. Ukiwa umesimama hivi hivyo hivyo naomba nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu mchungaji na mwana nabii Pastor Emmanuel kwa ajili ya Bible study. Karibu sana mtu wa Mungu wakati karibu madhabahuni naomba ungo kwa budu. Karibu. Amen. Haleluya. Nyoka tumgete tuenda kulazimisha jina la Bwana kila mmoja anyosha mikono yako juu. Funga macho yako Tunande pukwenda kumuambia Bwana Hello Himel Adonai Wewe ni Shama Hallelujah Hello Himel Adonai Shama Shama Hello
Asante Mungu mnaona Yesu. Asante Mungu mnaona yeye pia mheshimiwa. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Namshukuru Mungu wa mama yangu na Biesta kwa kunipatia nafasi ya kusimama katika madhabahu takatifu siku ya leo katika kipindi cha Bible study ya Kiswahili. Pia ninamshukuru mama yangu na Biesta ambaye ndiye kiongozi wangu, ndiye kamanda wangu, ndiye mzazi wangu, ndiye mshauri wangu na ndiye mlezi wangu ambaye amenipatia nafasi hii. Mungu ambariki mama yangu na Biesta pamoja na uongozi mzima kwa ujumla. Amen. 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 Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Natumaini tumebarikiwa sote. Tangia tulipoanza Open Heaven Service ibada ya kufungua mbingu, ibada ya Kiingereza. Lakini pia Mungu anaenda kutuhudumia kupitia ibada ya Kiswahili ya Bible study. Mafunzo ya Biblia kwa njia ya Kiswahili. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pasipo kupoteza muda mrefu ningependa kusema nawe mambo machache kuhusiana na sadaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Somo langu linasema sadaka ya pekee. Kama unaandika, somo langu linasema sadaka ya pekee. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pia nitaelezea kwa nini sadaka ya pekee. Sadaka ya pekee ni ipi? Ni sadaka ya aina gani? Na kwa nini unataka uitoe? Na utakapoitoa utapata nini baada ya kuitoa hiyo sadaka ya pekee? Na mahali pa kuitolea hiyo sadaka ni wapi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sadaka ya pekee. Biblia inasema kwamba Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya tatu mstari wa 16 Biblia inasema kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee hata akamtoa mwanawe wa pekee ili kila amwaminie asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu Biblia kiingereza nasema for this reason God loved the world. Manake kwa sababu hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu. Sababu hiyo ni ipi? Na sababu ya kumtoa Yesu ilikuwa ni sababu ya dhambi. Manake sababu iliyomfanya Mungu aupende ulimwengu, sababu iliyomfanya Mungu akupende wewe ni dhambi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa maana jinsi hii, jinsi ipi hiyo? Sababu ipi? Dhambi. Mungu akapenda ulimwengu hivyo hivyo. Na kwa sababu anaupenda ulimwengu, je, namna gani ya kuukomboa ulimwengu anaoupenda? Namna gani ya kukomboa watu wake anaowapenda? Akatazama sadaka alizoko nazo. Yeye ni Mungu muumbaji. Angeweza kuumba kitu kingine kikubwa zaidi. Angeweza kutoa kitu chochote kile anachokitaka. Anasema fedha na dhabu ni mali yangu. Anasema dunia na vyote vijazavyo, vyote ni mali yangu. Angeweza kutoa milima au angeweza kutoa bahari yote au angeweza kutoa jua iwe sadaka kwa ajili ya dunia lakini akaona kile kitu cha pekee akatazama anachokipenda anaupenda ulimwengu anakupenda wewe akatazama ni nini ambacho anacho kitu gani ambacho kiko karibu yake ambacho anaweza kakitoa kwa ajili ya kukomboa kile kitu chake anachokipenda bwana Yesu sana ndipo akaona kwamba yuko ampendaye mwanawe wa pekee Mungu akamwambia Abraham kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo sura 22 kwanza mstari wa kwanza anamwambia Abraham nenda kanitolee mwanawe wa pekee awe sadaka ya kuteketezwa nenda kamtoe kwa nini kwa sababu ninataka nikubariki kwa sababu ninataka nikukomboe kwa sababu ninataka niachilie baraka juu ya maisha yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa nini sadaka ya pekee Kuna mambo kwenye maisha. Kuna vitu kwenye maisha yako. Haviwezi kuondoka. Hauwezi kuvikomboa isipokuwa umetoa sadaka 
ya pekee isipokuwa umejikagua kila mahali ukatafuta kitu gani unachokipenda kuliko kitu gani ambacho kimebeba moyo wako kitu gani ambacho ndicho umesalia nacho hicho ndicho cha pekee na sadaka ya pekee ina uwezo wa kumkomboa mtu sadaka ya pekee ina uwezo wa kumfungua mtu bwana yesu asifiwe sana nifungulie kitabu cha luka sura ya 21 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza nitaanzia na andiko hili sadaka ya pekee kila mtu anayo sadaka ya pekee kila mtu hapo ulipo una sadaka ya pekee hapo hapo ulipo kwa nini kwa sababu hakuna mtu ambaye hana kitu cha kutoa kila mtu anacho kitu cha kutoa haijalishi unacho au hauna katika utupu ulioko nao unacho kitu cha kutoa bwana ifafue sana luka 21 kwanza mstari wa kwanza huyu ni yesu alikuwa amesimama ikaluni akainua macho yake akawaona matajiri wakitia sadaka zao katika sanduku la hazina tuendelee akamuona mjane mmoja maskini akitia mle senti mbili akamuona mjane mmoja cha kwanza ni mjane cha pili ni maskini alafu cha tatu anatoa kile ambacho anacho hakuna mtu ambaye hana kitu cha kutoa kila mtu anacho haijalishi wewe ni tajiri haijalishi wewe ni maskini biblia inasema kwamba akatoa katika umaskini wake senti mbili alizoko nazo bwana yesu asifiwe sana inawezekana umekuja kanisani Unasema nimechukua tu nauli au ninacho hiki tu. Lakini hiyo sadaka ambayo Mungu anayetaka ndio hiyo ya pekee. Kwa nini? Unaweza ukasema Mungu ni katili? Hapana. Mungu sio katili. Kazi ya madhabahu ni kupokea maombi yako, kupokea mahitaji yako na sadaka zako. Na kazi ya madhabahu ni kukubariki wewe. Madhabahu haiwezi kutoa pesa ikupe wewe. Wewe ndio unayetakiwa kuleta pesa uilete kwenye madhabahu. Hivi unapokuja kanisani unasikia msukumo kitu cha kutoa. Lakini unajiona hauna. Lakini kumbe mfukoni unacho. Hicho ambacho unachokifikiria kwamba sicho. Umekuja kanisani. Una operation na kusubiria hospitali. Na operation yenyewe unataka utoe laki nne. Na hiyo hiyo ndio ambayo unayo na umekuja kanisani na unataka kutoa sadaka. Sadaka ya pekee ndio hiyo uliyobakia nayo. Mfukoni hauna kitu, umebakiwa na nauli tu. Mungu anataka sadaka ambayo itakuumiza, ambayo ukitoa utabakia mtupu, ambayo ukitoa utakuwa hauna kitu. Alipomtoa mwanawe pekee alibakia hana mwana. Abrahamu alipotoa mtoto wake maana yake asingekuwa na mtoto kabisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sadaka ya pekee. Tuendelee akamuona mjane mmoja maskini akitia mle senti mbili akasema hakika nawaambia huyu mjane maskini ametia zaidi kuliko wote kwa nini maana hao wote walitia sadakani katika mali iliyowazidi bali huyu katika umaskini wake ametia vyote alivyokuwa navyo katika umasikini wake sio katika utajiri wake Hawa matajiri sadaka walioitoa wametoa sadaka ambayo pesa ambayo imewazidi maana kwenye biashara wamefanya biashara wakapata mapato wakapata faida wakerejesha na mtaji sasa na ile ya faida ile pesa ambayo ni ziada ambayo sio lazima ndio wakaja wakatoa sadaka wakaleta matabaoni wakaweka huku Yesu akiwa anaangalia lakini sadaka ambayo Mungu alikuwa anaitaka Anataka ukwangue moyo wako kabisa. Safisha moyo wako. Angalia maisha yako. Jikague mifuko yako. Angalia ni nini ambacho unacho. Kabla hujamtolea Mungu, angalia unataka kutoa nini na angalia utakapotoa, je, itapata kibali mbele za Mungu au itakuwa unapoteza tu? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na hizi sadaka ukitaka kujua usiseme kwamba Mungu ni mkatili, hapana. Huyu ni mjane na ni maskini ametoa senti mbili na Yesu anajua kabisa hana kitu na ni mjane na huenda na watoto lakini bado ametoa senti mbili alizoko nazo na Yesu anaona kwenye ulimwengu wa roho kwamba huyu mtu ni maskini lakini badala ya kuchukua yeye Yesu 
aende ampelekee anachukua kile cha yule mjane anaondoka nacho kwa nini sababu ni ipi Mungu anataka kidogo ulicho nacho ili akupe kikubwa alicho nacho sio kama umenisikia Mungu anataka kidogo ulicho nacho ili akupe kikubwa alicho nacho watu wengi sasa hivi wanakuja mbele za Mungu neno pa mtu mmoja baba nakuomba njoo na vitu vyako njoo na vitu vyako nikupe mfano mmoja watu wa sasa hivi simama hapa wanaenda mbele za Mungu unakuja na mahitaji yako he Mungu ninaomba mtoto ninaomba nibariki ninahitaji biashara kufanya nipatie mtaji Mungu nibariki unamtafuta Mungu kila mali Mungu yuko hapa unamtafuta we Mungu amesimama madhabaoni saa utakayompata Mungu ukimuona tu Mungu pap na amebeba miujiza yako kabeba watoto wako amebeba mali zako unachokifanya unaenda moja kwa moja unapora Mungu alichokishika alafu unakimbia nacho unamwacha Mungu Bwana Yesu sana watu sasa hivi hawataki Mungu anayetoa muujiza bali wanataka muujiza unayotoka kwa Mungu hawataki Mungu anayetoa unabii bali wanataka Mungu atoe tu unabii waondoke na unabii hautaki kukuchukua huyo Mungu kaondoka naye ili uende na baraka zako lazima unachukua tu baraka unamwacha Mungu Unakuja madhabahuni, unachukua unabii, unaondoka. Unakuja kanisani, unatabiriwa unapata kazi, unaondoka. Unakuja kanisani, hauna mtoto. Ulikuwa unanyanyaswa na ndugu zako. Mungu amekubariki. Umepata mtoto, umepotea. Maana yake ni nini? Umekuja kuchukua muujiza, ukamwacha Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Pointi yangu kubwa ni ipi? Asante baba. Biblia inasema kwamba mtakeni Mungu na nguvu zake. Anaposema mtakeni Mungu na nguvu zake, maana mtakeni yeye kama jinsi alivyo. Mtake Mungu kama jinsi alivyo. Usitake kile cho kishikilia tu, bali mtake yeye Mungu. Ukitaka Mungu akupende, usitake kile ambacho Mungu amekishika, bali mtake huyo Mungu ambaye ameshika hicho kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Mungu ataona umekomaa kili. Ataona kichwa chako kimekomaa kwamba uhitaji tu baraka uondoke bali unamhitaji huyo Mungu kwa maana iko siku hiyo baraka itapungua na huyo Mungu atabakia hapo hapo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hivyo katika umaskini wako katika utajiri wako kabla haujatua chochote kile angalia kwanza je Mungu ataipokea sadaka yako ichunguze iangalie ni sadaka ya pekee au ni sadaka iliyozidi tu kwenye mali zako ndio unakuja noka nisani Je inakuumiza moyo wako? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kila mtu anacho kitu cha kutoa. Kwenye kitabu cha wafalme Wafalme wa pili sura ya nne Mstari wa kwanza. Huyu ni mjane mwingine. Huyu ni mjane mwingine. Anamfuata nabii Elisha. Anamwambia, "Mtumishi wako, mwana wa nabii ambaye yuko chini yako, amekufa." na alikuwa na madeni na anayemdai amekuja anataka ni mlipe mali yake lakini bado Elisha anamwambia una nini hakuna mtu ambaye hana kitu cha kutoa akasema mjakazi wako sina kitu akafikiria akasema ila chupa ya mafuta sadaka sio lazima iwe pesa sadaka ni kile kitu kitakachokuumiza moyo wako kuna vitu ambavyo unaweza kuvitoa ndio maana nabii anasema kwamba hata ukiniletea mchicha ninapokea kwa nini kwa sababu ndio kitu cha pekee ambacho unacho umetoa kwa moyo wako wote unaamini kabisa ndio nimepata hiki nimeshindwa kupata nyama nimeweza kupata hiki unapeleka na ye anapokea imepata kibali mbele za Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kila mtu anacho kitu cha kutoa nifungulie ofalme wa pili Sura ya nne kwanza mstari wa kwanza. Biblia inasema basi mwanamke mmoja miongoni mwa wake za wana wa manabii alimlilia Elisha akasema mtumishi wako mume wangu amekufa 
nawe unajua ya kuwa mtumishi wako alikuwa mcha bwana na aliyemwia amekuja ili ajitwalie wana wangu wawili kuwa watumwa Elisha akamwambia nikufanyie nini Niambie una kitu gani nyumbani akasema mimi mjakazi wako sina kitu nyumbani ila chupa ya mafuta Bwana Yesu sifa sana hicho hicho kidogo ulichonacho kinaweza kufungua maisha yako hicho hicho kidogo ulichonacho kinaweza kikakukomboa hicho hicho kidogo ulichonacho kinaweza kufungua maisha yako kinaweza kukuletea baraka kwenye kazi zako Bwana Yesu sifa sana hivyo Mungu anataka kidogo ulichonacho ili akupe kikubwa alichonacho Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tusimame. Tusimame. Sadaka ya pekee ni ile sadaka uliyobakia nayo. Hajalishi umepitia jambo gani zito. Hajalishi wewe ni mjane au maskini. Lakini njoo na senti yako mbili hiyo hiyo uliyoko nayo Mungu anaitaka. Mungu anaitaka hiyo senti yako mbili. Bwana Yesu tupe sana. Mungu anataka kidogo licho nacho ili akubariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nyosha mikono yako juu. Naamini umeelewa huu ujumbe. Na sio lazima ni kwa kila mtu bali ni kwa ajili ya mtu mmoja. Mtu mmoja tu Mungu anamtafuta. Utamwambia Mungu, ninaomba nipe moyo wa utoaji. Utasema e Mungu, ninaomba nipe moyo wa utoaji. Sema baba yangu, baba yangu. Mungu mama yangu na Biesta. Mungu mama yangu na Biesta. Ninaomba nipatie moyo. Ninaomba nipatie moyo wa kukutolea. Okutolea. Baba yangu baba yangu baba yangu baba yangu Mungu mama yangu na pesa Mungu wa mama yangu na pesa Nipatie moyo kukutolea Nipatie moyo wa kukutolea Katika jina la Yesu Katika jina la Yesu Nipige yako na uombe Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo e Mungu wa mama yangu na pesa e Mungu wa madhabahu ya pia mosi nipe moyo wa kukutolea majira haya Fungua nafsi yako mapia Bwana nipe moyo wa kukutolea Rika ria basekete Bwana rabo sakata Baba nipe moyo wa kukutolea kwa vile majira haya kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu kwa mamlaka ya damu ya Yesu nipe moyo wa kukutolea nipe moyo wa kukutolea nijue ibada ya kweli mbele zako kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu kwa mamlaka ya damu ya Yesu nipe moyo wa kukutolea majira haya riada rabo sekese rika riaba sakata baba wewe unajua moyo wangu unajua kunichunguza unajua nafsi yangu Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wangapi wamebarikiwa? Yes. Wangapi wamebarikiwa? Amen. Amen. Basi ukisikia neno kinachofuata fanyia kazi. Bwana Yesu sana. Shika sadaka yako kwa ajili ya ibada ya Bible study ya Kiswahili. Pia na wale mnaotufuatilia kuanzia mtandao, unaweza ukatoa sadaka yako kupitia namba za benki, account namba zinazopita na namba ya Mpesa itakayopita kwenye screen yako. Toa sadaka yako kwa imani na kwa moyo wa kupenda na Mungu akubariki. Shika sadaka yako tuombe. Tamkia sadaka yako iombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Mungu wa mama yangu na Biosta. Asante Mungu wa madhabahu ya PMC. Asante Bwana Mungu kwa kuwa ni wakati wa kwenda kukutolea. Matoleo haya Bwana ninaomba yabariki, yatakase, yafanyike manukato mbele zako na kila aliyetamkia sadaka yake ikawe hivyo kama anavyotamani. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. 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 Praise karibu. Tunapona kumtolea Bwana. Karibu tutoe. Haleluya. Tusimame juu tunapoenda kumsifu Bwana. Utukufu kwa Bwana. Utukufu kwa Yesu. Utukufu kwa 
mwenye nguvu haleluya tumsifu yeye utukufu kwa bwana utukufu kwa yesu utukufu kwa mwenye nguvu haleluya tumsifu yeye utukufu utukufu kwa bwana Utukufu kwa Yesu Utukufu kwa mwenye nguvu Haleluya tumsifu yeye Utukufu Utukufu kwa Bwana Utukufu kwa Yesu Utukufu kwa mwenye nguvu Haleluya tumsifu yeye Utukufu kwa bwana Utukufu kwa Yesu Utukufu kwa mwenye nguvu Haleluya tusifu yeye Utukufu Utukufu kwa bwana Utukufu Utukufu kwa Yesu Utukufu kwa mwenye nguvu haleluya tumsifu yeye music sijarudisha kipaza sauti nichukue nafasi hii kukaribisha wageni bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kanisa letu tunapenda wageni kama wewe ni mgeni cha kwanza jua kabisa tunakupenda lakini pia tunakukaribisha hivyo kama ni marako ya kwanza kuabudu pamoja nasi siku ya leo au marako ya pili tupongee mkono wako tukuone mgeni wetu tunaomba usimame Pigia makofi yako anaposimama. Amen. Amen. Na wewe ambaye uko karibu na mgeni, mpatie mkono. Mkono wa upendo, mwambie karibu pia mwaisi. Mwambie Mungu ambaye tunabia sasa atakuhudumia. Bwana Yesu Kristo. Pia nipende kukukumbusha kwamba msisahau kuandika majina yenu ya shuhuda. Tutakuwa na kipindi cha shuhuda. Hivyo kama una shuhuda wako, hakikisha jina lako unaliandika fuata protoko visherto uh, masharti na, na vigezo masharti na vigezo hivyo andika jina lako kama una ushuhuda na unaposhuhudia shetani ataibika na Mungu atakubariki Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hivyo ninaomba nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mwana wa nabii ninaomba nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mwana wa nabii ili aweze kuendelea na ratiba zinazofuata Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi anapokaribia madhabahu. Pigia Bwana Yesu makofi mwana wa nabii anapokaribia. Ongeza makofi kwa mchungaji. Na mwana nabii Pastor Emmanuel. Mungu kubariki sana mtumishi wa Mungu. Wakati tumebarikiwa na Bible study. Mimi binafsi nimebarikiwa. Nimejifunza ni kwa nini Mungu hakutoa milima au hakutoa bahari ili tukomboe. Akatoa cha kwake cha pekee ili tupate kukombolewa. Hivyo wewe jioni na thamani sana. Mungu ametoa cha kwake cha pekee ili akupata wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Basi kama alivyotangulia kusema awali mtumishi wa Mungu
kwamba tunapenda wageni lakini pia we mwenye wewe ambaye una jina lako una shuhuda wako hakikisha umeandika kwa ajili ya shuhuda Bwana Yesu asifiwe jamani wafanyakazi tupo tupo leo tumeambiwa tuje na nini tuje na mafuta mafuta Mungu amempatia mtumishi wake nabii neno kwa ajili ya mafuta hayo na kupitia mafuta hayo Mungu atafanya jambo kwenye maisha yetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe basi wakati huu wakati kwenda kuenda kuandika jina lako kwa ajili ya shuhuda naomba nikaribishe praise watu patie nyimbo za kwaya naomba tusimame juu kisha nitakaribisha nitaleta kwenu waimbaji wa kimataifa na wachezaji wa kimataifa wanatoka katika jamhuri ya muungano wa PMIC katika mti wetu wenyewe mti wa maajabu makofi na vigelegele kwao wakati watumishi wa Mungu wakaribia madhabahu karibu sana mtu wa Mungu utuongoze katika kipindi cha sifa naomba tusimame juu tumsifu Mungu kwa pamoja kwa sababu Mungu anaketi katika sifa simama juu wote naomba tumsifu Mungu karibu haleluya tuloka tusimame juu tunapoenda kumsifu Bwana tuloka tusimame juu haleluya baba na muna gani 